Today's video, I'm going to show you the best base play in Madden 24. It is the double post out of the Gun Bunch offset formation in the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. Now, if you want to get my entire Indianapolis Colts offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to do so. I'm going to put a link to, the, to join in the description. We just dropped an update to uh, that ebook today, so make sure that you're in there. That way you can get access to all of the updates and all the ebooks. We have over 15 different ebooks so far this year. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put our slot receiver on a whip route. We're going to put our running back on a Texas pattern. Now, let's say that you're watching this video and you don't have a running back apprentice. Then you're going to do this. You're going to drag your tight end and you're going to block your running back and run the play like this, uh, which you can still, this is another good setup, but we want to be able to block blitzes uh, with this. So we're able to block a lot of blitzes. Uh, this year by blocking our tight end. So that's good. And then even with a middle third defender over the middle, you're going to see that this post route is super, super consistent against man coverage. It doesn't really matter. Um, a lot of different strategies in terms of how they could play man. They can shade up. They can shade out. They can shade in and out. They can shade in and up. Um, the bottom line is this. This post route beats man. It is the probably the most consistent route in the game uh, or the consistent post route in the game for consistently attacking man-to-man -man coverage in a quick way that is very effective, okay? So that route is going to beat man 99% of the time, okay? 99% of the time, that route is going to beat man. Now, a lot of people, what they're liking to do with their bunch is maybe they're going to set up a little bit of a coverage concept here on the left side, and maybe they're going to go with something like this where they have a third and they roll into a cover three. What's nice about this specific post route at a double post is um, it's not going to necessarily matter. So you see here, there's a middle third. I can cut it off and aggressive catch it anyway. The middle third doesn't defend double post, which is a huge, huge reason why it's such a good route. The other thing that is really cool about this play is let's say your opponent runs just basic cover three. If you are not manned up, you can wait on this route. And once he crosses the face of the safety, this becomes the best cover three beater in the game as well, uh, which is a really, really, really important thing. So if we play all this out, <clears throat> the next route that you have on, on your field that is going to do a really good job of attacking man-to-man -man is going to be the angle route and the whip route. So both routes there are going to be man two. The whip route, one of the most consistent hot routed man beaters in the game, you'll see he's going to come in and out. Eventually he beats man, right? And we are blocking our tight end, so we have good protection. So our whip route is going to be a great option. So from a, from a defensive perspective, they have to put a hard flat over there to defend the whip route. They have to use her the post route. So in essence, it's going to look more like a mid-read defender. And then from there, that's where we get into the running back Texas pattern and the uh, C route. So you see here, running back Texas pattern, one of the best band beaters this year. When he cuts over the middle of the field, he's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage for you. Now, this route on the left side is actually really, really important to talk about. One of the things that people are doing right now in Madden 24 is they're shading, basically playing almost like a two-man under, or they're shading underneath and they're trying to press you, but they're trying to have some safety help over the top. This C route is an unbumpable route against man coverage. So you see he's going to go in. I can quick throw this against press man, just like that. So if they're pressing me a lot of man coverage, I can always look to that quick throw uh, to be a potential option. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about uh, with, with this setup is if you think about what are they going to do defensively to counter that? Well, a couple things they can do. One of the things that you're going to see is you're going to see this kind of third, uh, the solo wide receiver on a third, or the cornerback that is on the solo wide receiver side, they're going to put him on a third. This uh, C route right here, you'll see when he cuts outside, down and outside pass lead. I'm not freeforming, just down and outside pass lead against a press third. He will typically be able to get separation against that. Another really common adjustment that you're going to see in Madden is you're going to see this right here, which is known as the scissor adjustment. And they typically is going to cut that typically is going to be accompanied with pressure because they're trying to take away the quick throw running back flat route. The beauty of this is if you watch the C route here, pass lead that to the outside, you see we get outside leverage and we're able to attack the scissor adjustment as well. So this play does a really good job of attacking a lot of the different basic ways people are going to try to defend you. Because you have a really good um, solo wide receiver side C route, it is a sharper C route that does a really good job of getting separation against man and zone. Here's cover four drop. Again, pass lead down and outside. This is kind of almost like a C route of old. So if you think about what are they going to have to do defensively to stop the C route, there's really a couple things um, that they can do. One of them is basically this right here where they're going to put this, this uh, third and the purple 
And then, obviously, they're going to have to use over the middle of the field, and they're going to have to have help coverage on the running back, right? So you kind of see how this play opens up a lot, and this is what makes a really good base play in Madden. So what you'll see here is this outside uh, curl flat defender. He can kind of guard it, doesn't exactly guard it, as you can see. And again, the best way to defend a solo wide receiver side uh, C route, in my opinion, is to either shade outside and man coverage, uh, which is going to open up your post route, or is going to be put a cloud flat over there. Once we can get them to put some some help um, on that left-hand side to defend that, and they're having to use this running back angle right over the middle, as I get absolutely just screamed at, um, then you have your post route really isolated over the top. So real quick, I want to show you what the C route looks like against a shade outside man-to-man uh, -man coverage. So against shaded outside man coverage, you'll see here, um, sometimes it can still beat it. Uh, actually, and then the post over the middle – Low key got bagged. Um, that's pretty inconsistent, honestly. It doesn't normally bag the post. You should have the post. You had the zig. You had everything else, though, okay? Uh, but I just want to throw the C route and just show you. So you see right here, I, can, I can't quite get it in to the outside. However, if you put gift wrapped on your quarterback, which is pretty much one of the best abilities in the game this year because it allows you to catch high points, you can kind of low key throw this C route. If there's no safety help, just uh, high point it up and over. And sometimes you can get this catch in the basket over the top like we would last year. Okay. Now, again, obviously we have other stuff on the play. So, just, you know, just realize that. Uh, but I did want to give you something. If they are shading outside, another really cool part about C routes, though, is you can just, again, quick throw them in the seam right in that little pocket right there if you're getting that solo uh, wide receiver consistently being man-to-man. -man. Uh, against you so or solo corner boom right in that little pocket and uh, i gotta work on catching it but um, you see he's, he's opening that window okay so from again from a man-to-man -man perspective and just the way the meta is right now this is one of the best ways to attack it because you have every route all four routes are going to get you pretty good uh separation against man now if we're sending six right through the eight gap that's one thing um and again your running back is going to be there for you. Your running back is going to be open. They're going to have to use the running back, and then they're going to have to peel back to the post. And oftentimes what I find is the post ends up getting wide open, and you could just absolutely destroy man coverage this way. Again, it's also one of the best cover three beaters in the game. If you enjoyed the video want to get the rest of the Gun Bunch offensive ebook, please join the Patreon. It's only $10, and it's the best way, in my opinion, to get better at this game because we literally teach you step-by-step step the best ways to play Madden and uh, the best schemes. we got over 15 different offensive and different uh, defensive ebooks. We're updating everything all the time as well. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. A lot of really, really good content over at the Patreon page. Um, and again, the, the beauty of this play is it's not just a really, really good man beater, right? Um, you have a high-low between your post and your whip, and then you also have this absolutely incredible cover three bomb if they do decide to run zone on you. Thanks for watching the video. To join the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.